My name is Zhao Ying Summers. Don't worry about pronouncing Zhao Ying. My iPhone auto crack Zhao Ying to annoying. People also ask me, why don't you have a Chinese last name? I had one before I got married. I was a hoe. Hi guys, I'm Zhao Ying Summers. Welcome to Tiger Milf. I don't know which episode it is because I am a bad Asian. I uh, that's why my husbands left me. Pluto, they left me. Um, we have some very cool guests here today. I have. Uh, I, I mean, I don't care about those people, but I have to show Hollywood I like gay people. So nice. I booked two gay friends that. Uh, they are they are good looking. I don't gay, want and other ones. gay and a half. Gay and a half. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a bi. I'm now bisexual. Bi. So my friend Audrey, her heart is broken. Now her pussy is open. So we <laughs> decided to drink something. Yeah, we're broken hearted, so we're yeah, sponsored me too, by. Yeah, broken too. Tito should sponsor. Tito, me. pay me. Yeah, yeah, Tito's. Tito, Tito I, pay I, me. I put it. I poured it in here. They saw me do it. I yeah, promise. of course they put it in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Are you? Do you not need a pre-chase? <laughs> Ciao. Cheers. Do you not need a chaser? Are you? I don't need a chaser, but I'll do it for you. Oh, to make you feel better about yourself. God, this is out of acid reflux because I need chasers. I don't want uh, a chaser. Woo! Uh. I mean, you're not even starting with a dick. You already have. Like, oh, you didn't even take the whole thing. Like you choked on a dick. <sighs> Choking on a dick. That's the one thing I don't do. Your mama's got a gag or doesn't have a gag reflex. What a wild thing to say. I mean, it was a Tito's. My, look at my DSL. Wait, I didn't know that you were married twice. Twice? Come, don't make it like a big deal. I mean. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, no, it's just surprising. I, I, you, you've had two husbands? I didn't I, know I that. I only have two. I, <laughs> No, 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 yes, but I did not It's know. like a breakfast and lunch. I don't have dinner yet. <laughs> a breakfast and lunch. I'm dead. Yeah, you don't have dinner yet. You were like surprised? I know. Then, what, do you want me to lose weight or something? That, no. <laughs> no dinner for me? No, I, I just, I, I thought it was only Oh, I didn't even introduce you. Well, oh. well, my, my friend Hank Chen, he's good looking, but he's gay. What? So he's not going to get my dim song or he won't come home to eat my food because, I mean, I don't want to waste my time for nothing. You don't have a nice dick to offer? Bye. <laughs> so, sorry. I mean, you have a nice dick. It's just not, not for it's me. It's not compatible. It's not, not, <laughs> not compatible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but he's cute with style and uh, he's very funny. And, and you ride a motorcycle? He's a, yeah, he's, 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 yeah, some daddy energy right there. Mm -hmm. That's hot. Yeah. He's hot for gay people. Not yeah, too bad you for too bad you're Actually, gay. those are high standards. <laughs> if I'm hot for a gay person, I'm pretty hot. Because, you are. Because gay standards are higher than straight standards. Yes, yeah, you are hot. Yeah. Not for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, God, he said. Well, Audrey is hilarious. We just, we just do shows back to back. We did the, like, we, we ran our hours back to back. We did, we both did Caroline's. And uh, she's so beautiful, so funny. Mm. And uh, <gasps> her eyebrows better than mine, so she's a cunt. Yeah. Wait, you have great eyebrows. What are you because talking I about? I paint them. I draw them like a dumb bitch. Like a dumb. What bitch. makes her eyebrows better than yours? It's just maybe like uh, all the pussy she's eating. Like, but I'm not really eating pussy right now. Eyebrows. Well, I'm, all the pussy, pussy she used to eat. I'm hooking up with men. How, well, how, how, how is how, how is it? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. After not okay, so how many years did you go out go without the men? So I had a boyfriend for three and a half years in college. Okay. We were best friends. Sex kind of faded, mm. and we broke up. Mm. And then Veronica, uh, whoops. Uh, my ex and I, we were like very passionate. I was in love with her for sure. And then now that we're done, I got to tell you, not having dick for what was it, five years, four oh, years? I was a die. Oh, I've been having a blast. Nice, they're fun. And it you was got dick with highs. I think it like like I, like, and it's like the opposite of who I I date femme women and yeah. that, okay. that, and I date like uniform men God, like, guys. like guys like army like men yeah awesome. yeah and then like this i like rough sex me too and that i don't have rough sex with women i refuse to have rough sex with women i don't know why See, but i don't you would take the lead if you're dating femme women you're dating kind of like so i would take i would take the lead with that but i i don't i don't know if i want that anymore and i like when i hook up for now and when i hook up with guys it, i like it, like we just throw each other around. Oh, nice. I'm it's nice. I love rough it's sex. Really, rough sex is really fun. It can be fun. Yeah. Yeah. It is fun. I'm not down for, unless I'm like really in love with you, then we can have passionate and then rough, Aww. passionate. Yeah, I, li I like when like a, like a rough sex with somebody I really love. Yeah. Like I can see a future with. Yeah, you love it. I can see him paying my son's rehab bill. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How old's your son? He's four. 
Oh my God, Bro. honey, we have time to prevent him from from going down that path. Well, <laughs> how about like um, uh, malpractice lawsuit? He'll be a lawyer. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. Right. He'd yeah. Be a well, lawyer. he's a doctor. He's gonna like, fuck yeah. me up. What if he says to you, "I want to be a stand-up comedian"? What do you say to him? I'll be like. Uh, well, let's, she let's support him. I'll yeah. support him. Yeah, support let's him. make your dad angry. Let's do this. <laughs> ah! Fuck your dad. Yeah. Fuck, fuck your him. Dad. Yeah, because all your first jokes are always family jokes. Yeah, it's I, like the I would. Uh, that you know. My yeah. son can. My son can be fucking Hank. I wouldn't care. <laughs> oh. he can be even, even if it, even if he turns out to be me, she would still accept I'll him. I love him. Yeah. I'll buy him if. the best motorcycle. Like <laughs> I'll buy him the best outfit and be like, uh, you don't take any dick that's not perfect. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> that's that's gonna be a tall order, I'll tell you that. Especially if he stays in the United States, because eighty percent of the dicks in in this country are what is that? What is that? Circumcised. <laughs> Ch Chippity chop. Those are nuts. Uncircumcised Chippity. dicks. If you have them, woo! Shout out to you. Yeah. But they're nuts. You have to. You have to fold. They're like little octopuses. You have to fold back <laughs> the skin. Back. It's like a. It's like I'm making sandwiches. It's like a 15 minute process, and then I'm finally like, okay, I'm ready, but I'm exhausted by that. <laughs> You have to unwrap it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. But those are the unmarred dicks. Most but of you pull it. But if you pull the foreskin up and you tie it, it's like a present. The spring can come. <laughs> it's the brisk control. So you don't need. You should. You if you don't even need your IED. No. You just use your like hair tie. You tie the tip, and you just fuck him without getting pregnant. That sounds cool. Or herpes. I'm scared. Nothing. I need to take a pregnancy test. I I have an IUD. Have you been letting him come inside? Well, I have an IUD, so I've been like letting oh. people finish inside of me. You're like, let it loose, baby. Yeah, I'm like reckless. I went to my gyno the other day, and she was like, you're my first client that like wants an STD. I was like, test me. <laughs> but you go to the bathroom right afterwards, right? I try to. Yeah, you sh you should. Sometimes I'm a big turn off after lush, we have lush. sex because I'm just like. Doing this and I'm like putting on music and then I'm like mm -hmm. chugging water and they're like, "This is what are you doing?" I'm like, I'm "Trying to piss." <laughs> yeah, she's being responsible. Like, like a she's being responsible. <laughs> That's a good thing to do. Yeah, but yeah, I'm. He, someone just recently came inside of me why, and I'm nervous because I hear horror stories about IUDs. Because do you not want him to be the father? No. Or does no, not matter? this last one. No. Oh, this last one. Okay. No. Well. It's not like a California has some pretty liberal laws, so yeah. I think you would be, be okay. Uh, wouldn't want to lose that. Take a plan B. Yeah, it's too late for that. That's what happened to me. I have two kids now, honey. <laughs> Were you on an IUD when you? Do, but you wanted your children because you had them within a relationship, right, Joe? Yeah, I was married. I love my kids. They are beautiful. They are amazing. But uh, do you want kids? No. But uh, I have them because I'm, you know, I'm just a good. I'm, I you're love good, them. You're good yeah, Chinese you're a good mom. Lady. Yeah, yeah I, I love my children. Facebook they are stuff. really beautiful. I hate myself. I can see that on Facebook. You're a good mom. <laughs> yeah, I love my children. I really do. I, like, that's why I work hard. I want to give them the best life. I want them to be a rich gay or like uh, you can be anything. <laughs> like if you're gay, be rich. Yes. Yeah. Be gay in dignity. Yes. Be gay in Malibu. Like it's just, uh, I, I want. I, I actually. I literally. I was very conservative. Mm. I, I would slap my son if he's gay. But now I'm like, uh, you know what? If you are gay. I'm proud. When did that change? If you're not gay. A couple years ago? After like uh, my, you know, everybody leave me like because they found out who I am. And like, uh, my husband oh, no. left me. Like my father. Because they found out who I am. My father. Who are you? Wait, what does that mean? You're not gay. My father left me because I didn't have a penis. My right. father left me because I didn't have, my father left me because oh. I did not have a dick. And now my husband and boyfriend are leaving me because my dick's bigger than theirs. Like it's just, it's, it's <laughs> what can a girl do yeah, to keep a man? Like hey, what can I do? So now I realize like uh, the true love for anybody is to just uh, accept them. And uh, I felt that uh, the true love I have, uh, I give to my kids is that for them to accept me, that uh, I don't want to be home with you at night. Yes. I want to go home, <coughs> accept me for who I am. And uh, I send you to Harvard Westlake, you go to Harvard, you go to, I, I'll, 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 I'll fuck, I'll do anything for my son. Mommy my pay the bills. Mommy paying the yeah, bills. I'll yeah, I'll be buying. Oh, yeah, they will have. Uh, you're the like a life. businesswoman too. You be you. You're you're like. Yeah, like they like uh, you want to be gay, be gay. You want to be uh, be a lesbian, be a lesbian. But be the best gay, be the best. Lesbian. Exactly. Yes. What about buys? F no, decide. Make it. Make a choice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, be whatever. You know what it is. I can, <laughs> she is. You can. I say fall. In I would fuck a fuck Rachel Maddow, but she's not single. <laughs> <laughs> we're all a little bit bi. What do they say? We're all a little bit gay. We're all a little bit bi. Because yeah, the you the what's it called? The Kinsey scale. The Kinsey scale. Because you met you met a woman who you fell in love with. She, you guys were official. You were girlfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. Jao wants to fuck Rachel Maddow. Man, but she's not single. She's not single, but you would still. Fuck I don't fuck, fuck her. I want her to be fuck in an open me. relationship. Okay. You never know. Have you? Have you never? But I'm saying is right now you're with the guy, but you're open to the fact that you may fall in love with another woman. Right? Are you with a guy right now? 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm single. Uh, babe, I'm, I'm looking about me. I'm about you. Oh, yeah. Well, me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so, but if you met another girl, you wouldn't be like, no, that part is in my No, past. if whoever I fall it. in love with, yes. I'll fall in love with. When oh, I that's, that's love. great. Yeah, yeah. That's what it I is. I just want to fall in love. Let I, the gays I, get married. They deserve to be miserable too, you know, like. That's just, right. Yeah. That's just, right. That's, I just want to be in love with whatever, man, woman. I want four kids. Who's someone who loves you? Wait, why? Jow, <laughs> tuck her out of it. Talk, four kids. Tuck her out of it, Jow, right now. Right now. You have zero right now, right? Yeah. You have zero and you want four? Yeah, there's oh. no way. I'm, yeah, I'm on a time. She, she does have a burn on her forehead. Oh, my there's, God. There is no oh way God. I can have four. I'm already 29. You are so young, bitch. You could have four. <laughs> yeah. She's 29. Yeah, people freeze their you eggs around. You have the whole world ahead of you. 30, you still 35. have a hope. You still have a dream. You can still have everything. Yes. You're only 29. And our generation is going to live longer than ever. I, I mean, need a people, drink. I didn't know she's 29. Hank. You want to take a shot? People are yeah. living okay. until 100 I didn't 100 know you were 29. Now. I thought you were my age. I thought you were 32. That's the same thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, it is. No, but no. would you cross the 30th threshold? 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, anything 35 and below, we're all fucking fl- 28 to 35. We're all no, kind of just- young. Uh, floating it around. sounds different though. Twenty nine. No, if I was twenty nine, I wouldn't be sitting here with you guys. I'll be getting dick right now. Uh, <laughs> I texted and said if we would have, but no one. You uh, wait. So, Jow, have you never been with a woman? Not a strap on. Not a, no. Never. I haven't used a strap on. Never. I've never even had, played with strap. That. Well, she's saying she wanted to get fucked by Rachel Maddow just to take it back a couple of minutes. Oh so yeah, I getting like, fucked by someone means. So it's, so it's just no. Like, she can scissor me. I don't care. Kiss me oh, or like a tell. Or, 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 or just cute. like that's or just like sweet. kiss me or just like a, you filthy bitch. Like oh, whatever she's doing, it's huh? fine. She's like I just want love you. She, I want her to call me a whore. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Or teach me to speak English. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. As long as Rachel Maddow, I don't care. I just want to run my hair, my hands through her thick, thick hair and her beautiful eyebrow. What her. is it about Rachel Maddow that you think is so? Is, it's her, it's her look. Intelligence. Like, okay. And she was a beauty queen. Obviously, she's gorgeous. Oh, she was. I didn't know. Oh, that. she was. Should we tag queen. her in this? She Maybe she'll queen. see it. We should tag. Her. She's she's not single. Well, it doesn't. Matter. How do you know people just, are just, open? Because I feel like everybody in their son are just, open. Just give me a drink, Audrey. Just all right. I'll give We're you in Los shot. Angeles. I'll, I'll you in Indiana poor. You make it seem and like that's... commitments a thing here. Yeah. <laughs> make, Apparently, there's a lot of sex parties going on. You make it th- seem like people went don't to have one. arrangements. You know what I mean? I like Rachel Maddow. I just like her as a human being. Oh, okay. I mean, she's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's powerful, and she's also I, sensitive. So I love are you? She cries when so she, are when you? Things. People die. I'm like, let them die, but she cries. I'm gonna pitch this right now. I think Rachel should have Jow on her show. I, I want to see Jow be the comedian that that comments on politics. Remember I when, want her to have me on, her, on my knees. Do you, I don't. <laughs> do you remember when Kathy Griffin was like doing guest stints on CNN? Like yeah. she was always the comedian coming, and she was like, "Well, I really think that Dennis Harris." You know, like I think Jow would be hysterical as like the comedian commentator on actual news. Yeah. They're like, you should be. Yeah. I, you will be, I'm sure. I, know. I, I think it would be I think it would I think it's what the cable news cycle needs. They need you to break it up because everyone's like, all right, this indictment, and they're like, Zhao Ying, what do you think? And she'd be like, I think he can go fuck himself. I think he's gonna <laughs> dickmatize. I would not fuck him. I think Ivanka <laughs> Trump and she could fuck me. <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny. You're right. You need you need your own segment on like she the needs news to channel. Be on a political show. Like Chad and JT, they do like, you know, Chad and JT. <laughs> mm-hmm. No. They're so funny. They're like Chad goes deep and they're these two like bros and they go to like city council and stuff and they're like what's up council but they're on the news channel as like a funny outlet for the news and whatever news station that it probably gives them more publicity too yeah I can say whatever you know, the fuck I want you can't cancel me you can't pronounce my name yeah that's right HR, you can't fire me. You can't pronounce my name. We don't. We need an HR in comedy. What the fuck is that? The Comedy Bureau. The comedy now that I'm, bureau. Cheers. I, I gotta be honest. The Comedy Bureau. I gotta be honest. We cheers. need HR stat because now that I, I'm openly going back to men. I, we need HR. Why right? Need Just a, what happened? How what happened? bad so, was the pussy? Are they are they harassing? You? It was, oh, she was great, but I I she broke your heart. Yeah, but I also think I might have always. I thought. I might have always been bi and never had, I never, I only had sex with like really one guy seriously before I dated her. I jumped into the the thought of me being a full bloom. Mm-hmm. I jumped into that thinking yeah. it was because I was so in love and never felt that. I know. Before. I feel the same way. I was so in love with this guy. I jumped into the full blown. I'm okay with yeah. the poor guys. You know, okay. <laughs> it's a good feeling. There's nothing wrong with it. What? There's nothing. Cheers. There's nothing wrong with being in love. I think. <laughs> Definitely make sure you don't have a baby, though. Definitely. definitely. Oh, fuck. Get, get your oh, IUD reinforced. That is pretty good. 
<laughs> drink break. <laughs> this is a wild. I didn't drink all weekend, so I feel fine. Wait. So, Zhao Ying, I wanted to know. Hank knows me, uh, literally, when I started my first month open my king. Of now me being, you know, the super... Asian Hall of Fame in Wait, how long have you been doing comedy? Three years. Three years. What? I her That's first, it? I hosted, I hosted her first mic. I remember her coming in. <laughs> And she, the thing is, her presence was always there. But you know, it's like as you achieve more, you gain more confidence. Yeah. So and mics are hard. So oh, yeah. she would just go up and she would just recite her material. But there's not that much feedback. But I, she came alive when she started doing shows. And la a year ago, we started doing shows together out. We you know Seattle, New York, just different pl Vegas, and and. She, she had the audience in the palm of her hand, and she also really glammed up. Like Zhao Ying's brand. Oh, sorry, Zhao Ying's brand is just. I, I mean, she has it on on lock. It's, yeah, it's one of the most impressive transformations I've ever seen from someone who was there from the very beginning. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel like, I feel like in a way I raise this girl. I have nothing to do with her success, but I was there front row and center from the beginning. But that's the best thing about comedy the is beginning. Because like, so many people drop out of mics after you. Know, oh, people, people drop out of comedy all the time. Yeah, they do. Right? I saw her. I remember the first day she got verified. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I remember, all of the landmarks. Yeah. Like, for all of the, I mean, uh, we all were there when she, is it Three Arts is it your manager? You know, so we're, mm -hmm. we get to watch all yeah. of these achievements now. But, yo, I was there for her first mic. But that's you know the best yes. part about comedy. I think yes. is like your community is like your family no matter what. Like, yes. like, even if there's drama, there's still an unspoken bond. It's like we're all a freaking you. We all know how to be at war together. Well, that's why all these like deaths recently. Oh, been, it's like, like there one the one last was it a couple nights ago? That one was so What happened a couple nights ago? Uh there's a really funny young comedian and he Cassie uh, Dang is not the most recent. There was another no, one. No, it was no. two nights ago he got hit by a car. Oh, so he didn't kill himself though. No, but I thought he for sure did because by the way, people were posting, but then they said that he got hit by a car. Who was it? Uh, I wasn't driving. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I wasn't, I too wasn't, soon. <laughs> no, I wasn't driving. Joe Yig. It was, uh, it was uh, Joe's fault. Oh my god! Not this time. <laughs> Wait, it's it is. Should I get his name? It's Caitlyn Jenner. It was. Um, can that you go two inside baseball? Can you? You know, Jason, you know Caitlyn. Really? With a car? Yeah, she yeah. did. <laughs> it was Caitlyn. I mean, the moment she became a woman, we can see. <gasps> it was uh, Blake Hearthcock. And he's really That's, sweet. That name. That's a good name. It is a that, good name. What a waste of It's a good uh, name. But he was a good, the, he's always at the store. He was at the store a lot. Oh, I do recognize him. Yeah, he Aww. was at the store a lot. He was uh, such a joy to talk to. Where was to. he killed? So, Where was he hit? I don't. The career. I need to ask have. his details. Because like, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to, we'll drink to that. We'll pour one out. And then we'll. That's hard. We won't go so dark. Yeah. I think. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I, well, maybe it's it's because that's when I first got plugged in. But Brody Stevens was the first. You got like, plugged in by who? <laughs> Joust. <laughs> Metaphorically plugged into the stand up community. But Brody Stevens, a suicide was the first one that kind of. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. But that was four or five years ago when I kind of really first started. My so. biggest goal is yeah. if I ever make it big, I want to. Kill yourself? Yeah. <laughs> to, to, no, to, I'm just kidding. Yeah. To, go, to go out with a splash? <laughs> to go with a yeah. big bang. I want to open a mental health center for like entertainers if I ever made it big and then have people work pro bono. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know, you know, we're not. I feel like that'd be the sickest nice. thing ever. That's nice. That'd yeah. That's everybody like gets your sperm head. <laughs> Mandy Martinez. No, he's like, that's nice. I'm going to fucking bitch, take over Mandy. the world and make everybody know. I also Mandy like Martino, I want a sperm head. That's the only time I can have a sperm head. Every time I wear her merch, people Mandy, want Martino, it. What colors do you have? Send them to She's me. Mandy, I want colors. China red, bitch. That's, yeah. You don't give it to me. I'll fuck a boyfriend, you dumb bitch. Red wall. Red wall. He's a comedian. Her boyfriend. I know. We had Uber Karen together. I love Mandy. I'm not gonna fuck your boyfriend. I don't fuck comedians. I don't know if I'm gonna fuck a comedian either. It's, too, it's too risky. Don't do it. Have you ever done it? No. Are you have, sure? Have you done it? Lying. Have you done it? <laughs> no. I hooked up with a comedian. Shut up. Spill. No, I'm just kidding. I can't. <laughs> yeah, you're you right. Know, well, this is an interesting thing. I hooked up with a comedian, but he uh, presents as straight. So, <laughs> so <you can't. laughs> the, sound, the sound of the pouring. It was like that's how he identifies as straight. This dead silent. This is pouring. It's water. It sounds like Jawa was peeing. Yeah, at the sound of that. Wait, yeah. They, so they did so, not so pay me for that. So, 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 they did so, not so, pay me to pee right now. You don't would go through your Rolodex of gay comics because it wasn't any of them. You would be outing him if. Uh, I wouldn't even be out because honestly, man, like I don't want to give anybody publicity if they don't pay for it. That's right. right. Here. 
Here's what I have to is this, say. This isn't live, I right? Say if no, it's not, say, but thank God. People want to identify as they want to look. We had <laughs> we had our moment. It was a one time thing. One time thing? Yeah. Did so, you come? Uh I'm sorry. But he's straight. So you'll come. Y yes. That's, that's what, nice. That's, that's good. what happens when yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what happens She's when like, I hook up I, with them. I, I, can, I can see her looking out with her men too. Jaim, like, did you come? Okay, good. Hey, yeah. you come? Uh, do you go in sex until one comes? Or do you finish when we, you both come? Uh, some, uh, I tried to, I tried to, Get both. If I'm not into it, I let him come and I'm fucking out. That's funny. And if of I'm course. into it, I'm, I'm like, all yeah. right, my turn. And then exactly. it goes like three hours. It's about into or not. Exactly. Yeah. If yeah. I'm not into it, uh, no. I hooked up with my friend and it, we did it for three hours. It was That's so nice. fun. We had like carpet burns. I recommend hooking up with friends because that is fun. That is, I agree with you. Because it's it's also if you can be on the same page and it's like. Yeah, it's, just, we're yeah. fucking around. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But. Anyways, to go back. Yeah, go back to. Well, go back I, to. well I, I just want to, in his defense, look, if he identifies as straight and I'm an anomaly, uh -huh. like, like it's not constant, you know what? Who's to say, right? Yeah. Like if he wants to be with women, dates women, and I just fit the bill. I mean, look, I've been told that I have very smooth skin. So you're so, a slop. You're an Asian man. Your skin's good, baby. So people, so people, I think, I don't know, maybe when people close their eyes you got really... it, they just picture a girl anyways. But no, no, you want smooth skin. I will say my ex, he was half Korean and uh -huh. he had no hair on his body. Was that nice? Did you like that? I Dolph loved Dolphin it. Skin? And all, yeah. all of his exes are now dating or you either dated women or are dating women. All three of us. Interesting. Well, I'm not anymore. And actually, his other ex was lesbian, but now she's married to a man. Isn't that weird? Uh, Maybe it's because he has no hair. I think <laughs> not. You know what? Not necessarily not because of the background I came from. I knew because I think people really repress their sexuality. We're gonna get deep. I was raised religious, so I straight up know of guys that went to my Christian college would have unprotected anal sex in the showers with someone on their dorm floor the whole year now church going father of four married to a woman like honestly i think it's you know i think i think circumstances will dictate behavior yeah like, i look back at that time i was like that was probably prison for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, yeah because if you're a christian you're not you're not allowed to do anything no sex with any with with anybody no masturbation nothing and yeah. so Maybe, you know, in your mind, you separate it. You're like, well, if I just take it in the butt, that doesn't count as any of the, <laughs> anything on the list. I could see that because I hear a lot of stories of like so, a lot of my gay male friends have hooked up with like straight athletes in college oh, and fraternity boys. Sure. And they'll be like, yeah, and they would never out them or anything like that. And, we never but, and now they're like married yeah, with women, but yeah. they fully have had sex with oh these men. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I know who Did some of them are. Did you know about this culture? I mean, well, you know why? Because if this were to ever happen in China, they would just be beheaded. This wouldn't even, we, it wouldn't even get to this Wait, point. Wait, really? <laughs> it it's would like be under that? surveillance, and they would be dead. Is it like that, for real? You can abort them at birth, too, you know. <laughs> it's not as hardcore. I'm joking, but it's but it's not it's not as I did not know this. that, Hank. I did not know that. I like the sweater. The color is good. Thank you. It's, what's the color is this? This is my color. I, I call it a wine. I call it like a white. Like it's like a white. It's a Burgundy? Yeah. Yeah. Burgundy. 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 Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Hank, your turn is on, on, actually. Okay. Oh, okay. I forgot. I forgot <laughs> to roast their names. I forgot to roast their names. I had to roast your names at the beginning of my podcast. Oh. I feel like it's Hank and I've just been talking. Now that we're like 40 <laughs> minutes in. Go ahead. Roast our names, please. Thank you. So, Hank. Mm. Hank means still. means Hank. I'm still thirsty. So, he's still a fucking horror. <laughs> is that... <laughs> Are you are you single or are you in a relationship? I'm in, I've been with my boyfriend for four years. <gasps> Cute. Thank you. So Audrey means Audrey. Out oh, means arrogant. Dre means chase. She goes like she's like I'm arrogant, but I'll chase you if I want to fuck you. Oh, I'm <laughs> an arrogant funny. fucker. No, you are arrogant, but you would you would chase people if you want to fuck them. Wait, this is a er, what is er, arrogant means? Cocky. Like, cocky. You are cocky, but you if think you I'm cocky? Fuck somebody, Do you think I'm cocky? Yeah. If you want to fuck somebody. <laughs> Yes. Wait, you're the best. As I shake my head, I, I think you're confident. What makes her cocky? Like cocky, like sh like she's a dick about it? No, she just she. I, I like cocky. Like she knows w how much she's worth. But uh, mm -hmm. if she she wants somebody, she'll put her prayer down and just treat them. Just like, hey, bitch, I don't, I want you. Cocky yeah. Like you say no to me, it's okay. But no, I you're want right. Bitch. I, I can't. You don't wait. You're like, I don't want them to chase me. I want something. I'm gonna go get it. A single person at a wedding. He literally was like, I just got out of a long distance relationship. I said, me too. And I go, let's fuck. <gasps> 
So I, and I we did. I and we had fucked. confidence. And we fucked. And we fucked. If I had her confidence, I'd be getting dick. Oh yeah, it was really hot. The beating around the bush shit. I'm like, that's true. Like I don't beat around the bush. If yeah. I want to have sex with you, I I will make it clear that I want to sex with you. That is so I adult. And we do it. That. And I we do it. I wish I have so what you have. Adult. It's amazing. And we just. Do I it. wish I could just go to tell. You have that confidence, Jow. No, I would never say that. I'm, I wait. Jack could walk up to any guy in any comedy club, audience member or comic, and be like, "I want fuck you," and they would fuck her. And they would do it. They would do yeah, it. but I don't yeah. have the confidence like Audrey. I wish I had. I'd be having you a dick. Do are you crazy? Jack? You do. Let right me see. I would never be able to dress like this. I don't have this confidence. This is not an act, honey. This is how you really are. This is guys. This is how she really is. This is sometimes like I'll, I'll give you an example. Sometimes. Um, we 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 show up at events separately, but to get like we see each other at these like Asian events or red carpet or premiere whatever things. And when you get photographed, you want to dress, you want to have an edgy style, right? Maybe something brighter, something louder. Um, and she always delivers. But when I do it, I'll be honest with you. When I'm like getting there, like in the car, even walking to the venue, I'm always like, ooh, like I'm too much, I'm too extra, you know? But like once I'm yeah. there, then I'm like, cool, I'm doing, but but I don't have the confidence to like rock a like gold lame suit, like yeah. out just at, you know, Gelson's. She could. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are lucky because this bitch <laughs> here. Yeah. So your grace and shut the fuck up. Yes, I brought cool to America. So what? I love when you start yelling because that's my favorite. I love it. Uh, I, I, I love it. <laughs> in the beginning of the podcast, it was, okay, guys, we're going to start. Yeah. Hi, Hi, my name is Jiao Ying Summers. What the fuck is up? We're like, oh, what the okay. What up? I got digmatized and she got her heart broken. I'm kind of drunk a little Pussies bit. Are open. Are we lightweights? Are you guys a little drunk? I don't. Well, am I turning a little red? I feel yeah, a little you heat. are. I feel a little bit of heat. See, I told you I put some Tito's up in there. You're a little, you're ready. You're a little pink. It feels you're great. Pink. He put Tito's in his hoe. It feels great. I didn't. You know what? I'm proud of this too. I used to be so embarrassed of my Asian flush. I would take um, a Pepsi AC before I went out because I knew if I was gonna have a glass of wine or whatever, and I didn't want it to flush. But I was like, no, I'm gonna own it. This is who I. You am. should own it. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm red. Yeah. I wouldn't even. I think I'm used to people turning red and stuff. Because my sister has a, what was it called? Rosacea? R R Rosacea. Rosacea. Yeah. And a lot of my siblings' cousins, and Rosacea is like a thing in her family. Oh, so oh, yeah. That's I think it's, people. I think it's, <laughs> but I, I also think anybody turns red when they drink in general. I'm like, it's very cute. Yeah, it's cute. Thank you. I like it. But also, I'm feeling it more. Like, if you take Pepsi AC, the thing is, what it is, is it's helping you process the alcohol faster. Yeah. And so it's like, I don't want, you know, I like like that's a that's a more expensive night. Yeah, <laughs> I have to drink more to get yeah. the effects of it. Right. Yeah. The hangover is like three or four times as hard. Yeah. Oh, awful. So and now it's like, y'all, I'm in a relationship. I don't give a. How old are you? Thirty. Guys, it's we're all. Around the same yeah, age. But bitch, it, you were young. Yeah, but emotionally, bitch, it feels young. different. I wish you I were, young, I also honey. wish I were 29 again. Once you hit 30, well, I'm 29, 30, 30, 30, I, I, I would be 20. getting dicks, honey. I am yeah. trying. Like, I listen, if you're, hey. to be 29 again. If you got yeah. a dick, yeah. come to this address. No, I'm just kidding. I would never tell you my address. Eh? You would come even if I did. Six, five, one. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I'll tell you this though. I'm <laughs> going to ask you guys no. something as as, as this, When you get older, I know older, we talk about dicks so much, but like, oh yeah, you gotta ask moving. this question. Oh, we have um, more. Okay, great. I want uh, to know that uh, uh, what is your rules of comedy you want to share with uh, people? Rules of comedy? Your rules, Audrey's rules of comedy. Oh, like you as a comedian, the rule you apply, you kind of apply. Okay, to, to yourself, to myself, or to, to, to the how I approach the whole industry. Um, everything. Oh, I love it, Brad. It's so, why you are so fucking successful, you dumb whore. Yeah, God, it's okay. Here's what I, I honestly, and you can think this approach is corny or whatever. I go in with my whole heart, so I'm authentically <laughs> me. I love our community. I want to be as nice to everybody as I can because mm. even the people who are you think are not nice or like are shy, I don't think that they're not nice or shy. I think that's just them, and that's why they got into comedy because those are their personal quirks. They could be, they could be the next Jiao Ying Summers. I think just embracing. The outside, she they could. Was, she they could. She but she they won't. She was quiet and shy. I think just embracing yeah. everybody for who who they are and and just working as a team, but also 
making sure you're taking care of yourself. And then mm. I I used to never say no to anything because I needed to not say no, but now I can say no. And I think knowing when to say no versus oh, after- wow. You is, mean bar is, shows? What example? Give me an example. Empowering. Um, if shows that aren't paying, I'm kind of saying no to. Yeah. As I'm going to one that's not paying tonight at 9.45, but that's because I actually have things I need to work out. Yes. <clears throat> but the venue, you feel like you're going to get something out of it. If it's a good yeah, stage. Yeah. It's a good, if or there's a dick floating around that's waiting yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. But some of these shows are like, you need the shows for open mic time and it's nice that they're shows and it's fine that they don't mm -hmm. pay. But some of them just really don't pay and you have to drive and I'm like, no. I'm, no. I'm like, yeah, I'm no. like, I, you're not gonna, I need to be paid. Yeah, I have a spur on my forehead, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got a spur on my hat, bitch. Free. But I just think authentically being me and loving. That's powerful. And being loving. Oh, dude, everything you said is dripping wisdom. Like, it's so powerful. Thank you. Being authentic and also like literally just like uh, being kind. Yeah. Mm. And also she's like, also have that, because just being nice, people think you are like a, a yes man. People push your boundaries. Yeah, you have to know when to say no. You they know, really you know your price. You know, like a, you are a bad bitch, and that's just amazing. Thank you. It's really amazing. You're a bad bitch. I learned to say no to people. Yeah, people how'd just you learn because like, you're, you know, pretty girls. You're always taking advantage, especially in entertainment. How how do you how do you have your boundaries, Zhao? I still I I I, I guess because I grew up uh, being not very wanted, and I just. Uh, I like to give gifts. Mm. I like to give expensive gifts to my friends. Yeah. And uh, people kind of interpret that the wrong Christmas way. This is coming up in a, in a I mean, do you like yeah, a or you like a like... Balenciaga? <laughs> um, we get a Balenciaga? What does it mean? One's on sale. The, the cheapest one. Is I don't mine. do things on sale. Okay. Ah! As I look I, at your bags. Whatever's more, con whatever's more convenient for you, honey. But Balen Balenciaga? Or okay, I think you would have... This is the most expensive the thing I have the, ever cropped. The, 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 the suction shoe <laughs> would be look good on you. I I would... That would... Yeah. Okay. Scarves. Wait, now that you wear designer stuff, can you tell, can you notice when people aren't wearing? I feel like uh, designer stuff is not important. Important is the style and the 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 the, the, the swag. The swag. It's yeah, about, you have the swag. It's about how, it's this about is, how you, yeah, this is you, and you literally, like, you Stepmom got it for are me. sexy. That is really kind. You, like, the color, the blue, like, the... Uh, Girl, like you see, she has it. Your style, yes. It, you have a, it's it's about the way you. It's about the put way you put yourself. People who buy brands because they are insecure and that they were from the dumpster and they want right to them. spend money to show people how important they are, but they're not. We can, yeah, we like can me. See right through that. Like, right yeah, through like that. me. Is no. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, you know, Tyra Banks said you've got to be able to work a trash bag if that's because that's your job. Wait, I remember that episode. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. have a good style. Yeah. Yeah. And you and, do. And, and you know, Tyra. So no one has trash. ever said that. To you me do until because right they're now. jealous. Slow, can we slow mo clip that and I'll play they're, it a million jealous. freaking times on my page? They're jealous of you. It'll be on your tombstone. They're you have good style, Jackie <laughs> Summers. <laughs> You do. What if I puked everywhere? Does. Nobody's ever told me that. Your, your style is uniquely, <gasps> like, like, here's how, I, since I started working in entertainment, I started viewing my personal, uh, I hate the word brand, but it's true, through the eyes of the industry. And so I know that when whenever you get a new job, the wardrobe people are always looking at you being like, okay, what is this character? Like, they build, if it's a character with a longer role, they're building closets for you. Yeah. Like, like if this is the template, I'm already like awesome. We're gonna get a bunch of turtlenecks, a bunch of beanies, like maybe like you know what I mean. Like yeah. I already have your stuff. Like if it's like if I, this is if I'm casting or dressing a Jaggy character, it's gonna be a lot of shimmer, a lot of glitter, yeah. a lot You're of bling, a bunch of like like lots of texture, lots of yeah. stuff. So I always am like, how do you want to portray yourself? to other people. That's I, what I want that. to be the bitch you want to fuck but you can't afford. That's what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you have a shot. People have a shot with. That's what you They want. can think about it. Yeah, that's right. They think they, you want them to think they have a shot because then they buy your ticket and they come to your shows. Yeah. They buy the merch. <gasps> wait, you have merch now, right? Yes. Tiger Milf t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Do you have any here? I, see I have it in my car. I can give you guys today. I you would, can I each would get one. one. I would like one. For free. Yeah. Thank you. I'm in. Oh. I'll yeah. run in it. You're gonna look so like, cute in it. I use You're gonna look it. so cute. I'm gonna wear it on the next red carpet. You better. Yeah, you, you better. Better, you baby. You better, carpet. baby. You have good taste. He has good taste. I know. You look really put together. Yeah, Thank he is you. always cute. Hank is always cute. And I'll tell you, this is a challenge because I got here on my motorcycle. So I was like, what can I do to. So, you know, everything travels well. I find that good knits are. Because, like, if I wore a colored shirt, it'd be like all. Right, up there. Can't, you can't wear blazer. You can't. No. So. I mean, uh, I don't like you, Hank, because um, as an Asian woman, we lost a really handsome Asian man to the gay people. <laughs> you could be, you could be the thing who made my mother proud, but uh, no, you choose to fuck dicks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
which we love. I didn't choose it, but you know, it's 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 the path that say whatever you want to say. Okay. <laughs> it happened. You know what? Yeah, this this choice. What is huh? Mr. Hank Chen's the rules of comedy? Oh, my rules of comedy. Um, well, I think what Audrey said was very, very so powerful. 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 Audrey is so powerful. Yes, thanks. I will literally, guys. literally, that's what makes a star. And Thank you. And yes. the star is in the making. Oh, Thank by you. the way, she's already a star. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you have a spray on your forehead. I wish I have it. Nobody's <laughs> coming on my face. <laughs> one day, we, one of us will be as comp- confident as you, so we can wear sperm on our. You guys all, we're all gonna be wearing sperm yeah, next time we all meet up. No, you're Sperm's good for our skin and your hair too. You're, that Don't is, ask me how I know. That is true. <laughs> uh, Cleopatra, Cleopatra used to have hundreds of men contribute to her baths. Wait, what? Yes. Okay. These, these bitches be kinky as hell. Bathsheba. Yeah, these old school Yeah, that's bitches. what I don't get. Roman Catholics used to like, yes. the men used to like fuck each other. Like everybody would fuck whoever. So I'm like, who well, well, that's, the- I heard, you know, it was a long time ago. Why do I have to wait for him to text me back? <laughs> <laughs> I heard back then it was more of a misogyny thing. It was like women are beneath us, so I'm not going to oh. debase myself. Ew. I'm going to only be with someone of my status, which is another guy. Okay, wow. <laughs> so I'm going to stop was... using it as an example because that's my main example. Wow. Like, oh, Rome so all the fucking uh, male comedians, you think you are funnier than us. Fuck the other male comedian, you dumb bitch. That's right. We are funnier than ill. We just uh, like, uh, you You'd think we're not funny because your mom didn't slap you enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but if you were Chinese, your mom would have slapped you a lot. Yeah. Or black. I hear black black moms be slapped. Yeah, also Latino. Latino. Pretty much everyone but white. No, my mom. That is, I think my gender, my mom used to smack the shit out of me. Are you me. trash? Are you from that's the why trash? You are, that's why you're no. funny. There's, there's certain comedians. I'm from a family of divorce. If you're from the white trash, then you're, you're, you were beat up on too. That's what I mean. I don't think we were white trash. I don't think, yeah, we were just. Middle class. <laughs> Just <some real> class. <laughs> yeah. Were you raised like going to church and stuff? Like were you- no, I, I my parents didn't care. My parents I, they sent me to a Catholic obviously. school, which I hated. Yeah, obviously <laughs> kindergarten and eighth grade, and then they put me in public. Thank God, mm. thank God for public school. Freedom. But but yeah, no, they were chill. I mean, Freedom. they got divorced. It was nuts. Thank God for divorce. But they were chill. They did not push religion on me. They were not. They were good parents. I mean, I was. Are they still supportive now? Oh yeah, they've been supporting me no matter what. Oh, that warms my heart. I love my family. That's amazing. That's why you have such a big heart. Yeah. Like I hate everybody else. Big, yeah, <laughs> I hate everybody. We had to I hate. I, what I hate most is unfunny, lazy comedians. That's right. They go do a show with me. They fucking bomb. Oh my and god. And they go tell me like, oh my god, can you believe it? I fucking killed. I'm like. Uh, I'm the one with chinky eyes. Like, you can't see? (laughs) You fucking bomb, you dumb bitch. Like, you are fucking disgusting. Like, I, one joke don't land. I know it. I know I sucked. And I'm gonna go home. I won't sleep the whole night. I was thinking why I disappoint my mother, even even though she brought me back from the dumpster, but I still do not land that joke. I rewrite it all night. Next night, I try. I do better. I know I'm a fucking loser. You don't. You fucking don't. You tell me you killed. I'm like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. Like, you fucking, you're like, what? So I just like, it's okay. We all fail. And they just, you can't. That's why people don't grow. Because they fucking bomb. Because they and think they're good enough. They blame the audience for they being don't, smart. They don't take responsibility. Yeah. And that's like, also like, I do two shows a day. I mean, two shows a week. I'm like, quit. Yeah. Yeah. Sign up. You are not doing enough. That's right. Two shows? One show's a week? No, that's not enough. No! That's, not that's enough. why. That's, that's why for it's sure not, not working enough. out. No, yeah. No. Oh, you know what? That actually goes... In, so one of my rules is... Yeah, what... Yeah. Don't blame the audience. Don't ever blame don't, the don't audience. Blame no. Them. I I always tell people, I'm like, don't... This is our... Your job is to make them laugh. That's your job. If yeah. you have to stand upside down on your head to do it, that's what you're going to do. I, you know, you know. ideally, jokes work, but it... Like, I just did a show last week. It was... um. It was it was a college show, so and you you just have to like the psychology and the dynamics are always so interesting because yeah. because it's like okay this is a group of people that they all know each other right yeah. they're going to be more protective versus like a club where it's like everyone comes in by themselves and yeah so they're more like ah oh, they're laughing at that person versus this they might be like oh they just made fun of like Candace's hair right yeah like, yeah so they they were just a little tighter and it was a business school and so you oh, just God not go, the business kids I know right hey look everybody loves to laugh you just have to find the right angle to get in there yeah but i would not walk away being like oh these 
blah, blah, blah. No, you're so know. right. You would mold no. to them. No, you have to go to, you have to meet them where they're at. So, you know, and sometimes you might have to like roll your eyes. Um, but, you know, but they were, you know what it is? They were a smart crowd though. They were, it was a California school. So they were smart. It's not like sometimes I do shows in the Midwest yeah. where literally all they want to hear is poo poo pee pee cock cock jokes. Yeah. They're like, ha ah, ha 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 ha. And you're like, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. like, here's another poo poo joke. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but ultimate, look, if you, if they are walking out of that club with a good time, then, then, then I've done my job. I agree I, with I that. I really agree. Like, as a comedian, our job is to make people laugh. That's it. Like, yeah. You are a fucking clown. You do whatever it takes to make them happy and be authentic. Just be you. Yep. If they don't like you, they don't like you. But you can't just change yourself to do something stupid. But I, I agree. Like It's your job to make them laugh. They paid you. Like it's, Imagine David Copperfield. Like, I don't want to do magic. I'm like I'm talking about myself and why my, my wife is a cunt. Like, it... it don't uh, do something new. Yeah. Nine, they, nine they, they, yeah. they, 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 yeah, but like they actually, they pay to see you do Magic. your best. That's right. That's right. And they pay to see Magic. us to do our best. Don't bring your emotions on stage. Mm. Nobody gives a fuck about your emotion. Go mm. see your therapist. If you are poor, slap yourself on the face. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, nobody yeah. give a fuck yeah. about the emotion. Don't go up stage and like be a sourpuss. Don't yeah. be a sourpuss. Yes, nobody is. pays for you to have emotion about y how you feel. You go there, you do your thing. That's what your job is. That you were so good at transition because I was just gonna say yes. Don't make the audience take care of you. Yeah, you take, take care, care of the audience. Of them. Yeah, and also address what's happening. Don't try to avoid somebody drop a glass. Everybody's like. You're gonna continue your set, you dumb bitch. No, something happened. That is, Be alive, dumb yeah, bitch. Yeah, that is what's weird. People don't, if something huge you happens, someone doesn't acknowledge it. I'm like, yeah, I wonder but if you didn't hear that. Yeah, that well, it's a big elephant because everyone else is seeing it and then they're trying to focus. No, it takes everyone out of your. Yeah. yeah. Be and, spontaneous. Yeah. Address it. If you are not, like, do crowd work. Like, just be alive. People pay to not listen to a recording. Yeah. They wanted to. You to be alive. That's why they pay to see that. Mm -hmm. Like Taylor Swift, you know, it's the same song, but she engaging with different audience. Like it's, it's happening. Yeah. It's what she, Taylor Swift is singing that song in this space with us together yeah. in this moment. Yeah. yeah. You can't, that's why people go If see somebody like uh, get shot, she'll be like, uh, oh my God, you're here for me. <laughs> like it's, she don't want to be like, continue her songs. <laughs> one of my, people love moments like, one of my favorite moments, look this up. So Ariana Grande, it was a couple years ago. She was, she started singing a song, you know, like, and someone was like, wait, <laughs> someone in the audience was like, wait, I'm not ready. And Ariana was like, did you just say, wait, you're not ready? Like she literally <laughs> it's amazing. It was hilarious. It's and, amazing. and she was like, oh my God, sorry. But like everyone loved it. Oh she my was God. like, are you ready now? now? And she was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. She was like, okay. <laughs> and then she started That's again. Beautiful. And that video went viral. But oh, I Billie love it. Eilish does the same thing. Oh, really? She always recognizes people in the audience and she'll like laugh at things. Yeah. She'll like yeah. stop her song and start laughing. Yes. Yeah. Or people who recognize their their uh, big fans groupies. I went to um I went to the Staples, well, it's crypto.com arena now. I saw What? I saw Casey Musgraves and like you know you she would she could recognize her groupies she would be like love Casey she'd be like, hi Terrence hi Carly hi like she's waving to so us. is Eilish yeah. Eilish does like, that too God I'm a, I'm a big really Eilish fan oh really <laughs> yeah amazing she does she's she like so talented. she's like I've seen you before I see you all the time Aww. she says that to her fans she's so talented that's cute she's so cute. she's know, great I love her. she's wonderful this she's really gonna, wonderful this is gonna be an interesting angle but you know who also does that even though he's crazy Trump. Because pe there are people that go to his that have gone to like two hundred of his rallies, but go see his clip. Trump will be like, "There he is. I see. I recognize you, Mister." Yeah, yeah, you but he's got your piece in. People are telling him to say that. He will. <laughs> I mean, he's. I was like, he's good at connecting with an audience. You yeah, know? You yeah. Know, it's like, I mean. Yeah, he, you have to. Oh, yeah, to, even if they're great, like, the, it's, yeah. Well, they're his people. Like uh, the narcissists, are, they're very charming. Narcissists are very charming. <laughs> very, very charming. They, they, they get you digmatized. Like, they are charming. They say the things you want to hear. Like, they, you do the things you, they want you to do. Like, that's very, very charming. They yes. do that. Have you ever been in a, in a room with Trump? I've been in a room with Trump twice. What? How? Why? 
I was okay. Well, what if you're like it was a le- <laughs> They're both. They were both. It was like event. So I was. Did they call you kung fu? No, no, no. He, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I so I went to a Justin Timberlake concert it was like ten years ago, and he was in the audience with Melania. What? So Justin, he was he was sitting front row. He was he was at a Justin Timberlake concert, but he kn- man knows how to be a celebrity. He, Wait, let's go back. Yeah. for a second at Donald Trump. At a Justin Timberlake concert? Yeah. Like, what you saw in his song? Boom, sexy boom, Beck? Boom, was he on acid? Boom, what? Yeah. That was the last yeah, place. I, I, mean, I think it was sexy. Yeah. It was the egg girl. The, but it was so he came in, you, you are good at singing. But here's the funny thing. Everyone around him stood up. He just, he and Melania... <laughs> Melania also, and they had so they bought four seats. They had security on each side, but when they got there, the place went crazy. And he got up and he waved and he shook hands. I was like, this guy's charming. I was a few. I was working for Virgin Mobile at the no. Was it Virgin? I was working for T- Timberlake, whoever sponsored Timberlake at the time. So I was there. So you know, I didn't interact with him, but just seeing him, it was sort of like, oh wow, that was something else. And then the second time I ran into him, and I this was just in passing, and I was like, don't talk to him, don't talk to him. Yeah, I, I would, I would hate. This to was see at him the U.S. Open. Person. This it was at the U.S. Open, and he was in a box. And the, here was the interesting thing: there's main level. My boxes. friend Hanks talks. At the U- what's that? My friend Hank talks. I talk. I, I, no, I, I tell a story. I kind of, I kind of love it. I love him. <laughs> I, I really love. I don't I mean, love I remember, Donald yeah, Trump. My point is, the interesting thing is, he was at one of the nosebleed boxes. He wasn't even at like one of like the main lower level boxes at the U.S. Open, where like the big stars were. But he and Melania were at the upper level boxes, and he was like with his like paper plate of like food and getting cauliflower and like chicken strips and just past and just you know he's he's a he's a big presence i'll tell you that like you notice him there he's a big presence so there's a magnetism yeah yeah to totally mm-hmm. maga yeah i mean and i think about I think hitler you know he, he <laughs> yeah like he knows oh, how magnetic. to give a speech he knows he can write a speech he yeah can he can't paint speech. he can't draw he, he has a micro penis but he knows how to do a speech i mean <laughs> a man's good at something okay. I'm, 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 he I'm, can't I'm, paint I've never seen if he can paint it I'm, he would have he would have done that if he had yeah. been, if he had if he had succeeded as an artist by the way all these politicians look them up most of them failed at something artistic kellyanne conway there's a stand up what she want to do she not to a stand up set look, up, look <laughs> kellyanne conway tried Jesus to do stand up bannon bannon used to to, uh, he was he was a movie producer. Like all of these. What people, kind of movie? Like trash, trash movies. Yeah, porn. Yeah, yeah, but these guys all, Many porns. all tried to do um like legitimate Hollywood stuff, and this is just the outlet that they found. Okay, people at least make, Fox News girls. Make a Hank's career happen in stand up because we don't want him to be Lindsey Graham. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna whip everybody with a leather fucking belt uh, in the Graham. fucking <laughs> White House. <laughs> Lindsay, we Hank, know, we know we're going to whip everybody. <laughs> come out, come out. Hank, we'll whip you with his we, Chinese yeah. dong. I would never go into politics. I grew up right outside of D.C. I was, I was, I hate it. You can be a powerful politician, though. With I, that mouth. N- I, I don't have the stomach for it. You do, though. But you're in stand-up comedy. I am yeah. in stand-up, com- stand-up comedy. But here's, here's the benefit. You know what they say about D.C.? It's showbiz for ugly people. So thank I can, you. I can barely handle Hollywood. <laughs> thank but at you. least I look at I get to look at good looking people every day. Like us. You know what I mean? Yeah, like us. I get to look at good look at least I get to work with good looking people. I was in Miss DC. China 2014. <laughs> you were in China in 2014? Miss China. You were you Miss really? China? I believe her. I believe you. It's okay, let's move on. My mom's uh, I'm Miss China Town now because I got fat. Oh Yeah, right. It happens, you know, no, it's not this, even like it this, doesn't really this matter. Was a pretty was a was a was a sig- significant star in China. The thing no, I'm saying she never got fat. My mom's think I got fat. Even if you were, of course, it, your mom, every body type is... But Asian standards are, you know... Chopstick. Okay, yeah. Double no. zero. This, okay. If you're double zero, you're obese. Yeah. If you're not a chopstick, if you don't break it, when a wind blow you, you fucking, you are fat. Whoa. Yep. Wow. Well... Well, yeah, well, 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 everything, everything, well. About, everything about China is they want the small, small, small. I mean, like 50 years ago, her feet would be three inches. Yeah. A little bound. Because little do you know why they want a woman to bend their feet? Because when your husband beats you, you can't run away. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is intelligent. They called it beauty, but it was really just. Like, well, your husband beat you. You can't run away. <laughs> la, 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 no, la, not la, when la. you're crippled. You cannot do that. Uh-uh. Oh my goodness. No. Go look. Go look up Wikipedia. Bounded. Bound Sun Sun Jinglian. 
Is that what it's Sentence called? three inches, the golden three, lotus. Golden, like I, g- golden lotus foot. I yeah. think we, I mean, I, I, I've seen it. We've learned about that. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff yeah. Stuff. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah the the, the, you only learn the bad thing about school. You don't learn the, how great Tang Dynasty was when Hank and when a woman can be the president. <laughs> Let's I'm get a woman the in there. Wait, they had, there were empresses. Yeah, Empress Wu. I have her tattoo right now. Fucking right now. Oh. Wait, let's, let's see. This. Let's see. Is Empress it new? Wu. What's this. up, Empress, Empress Wu? Is it new? Handling. It's not new. It's uh, I got when I was drunk five years ago. Wait, um, how did she handle? How, how did she inherit? Let me just the take throne? off my jacket in a well, nice. She, uh, she poisoned her, her, uh, her everybody. That's a bad bitch. That's Wait, a bad bitch. Whoa. That's a name. Uh, it means Zhao. Is Ri Kong. Ri means the sun. Yue means the moon. Ku means the sky. So she became an emperor, and uh-huh. she was looking through the dictionary to find a name to name her ruin, like her 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 time, her dynasty. Nah. And she said, like, "None of those characters are powerful enough for me. No. I'll make a new one. That's right. It is called Zhao. Is going to be the moon and the sun and the sky. It means my power is above everything, motherfuckers. Damn it. Wow. She has a hundred boy toys. Damn. Wow. <laughs> she. <laughs> That's what I got on my <laughs> arms. If a motherfucker you think you can fuck with me, you're wrong. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I eat you like for breakfast. Like, I, don't fuck with me. I choked, but I'll bet you she's someone who enjoyed a semen bath too. That's yeah. I can see it. <laughs> see, I feel like we all can enjoy a semen way. bath. Like I would like a semen bath, but like, you have to be Ivy League, like a six feet tall Ivy League. Right. <laughs> I don't want, like, Actually, now that I think of it, I don't think I would want a semen bath. I don't care as long as the semen quality is good. Uh, the reason I swallow is to get rid of it quickly. Uh, skid it, skid it out. That's hot, though. Yeah, I have like, a swallower. I, I like it when they swallow. Yeah, this yeah. is we've been very sexual because it's because in, it's intimate. It's, I feel like if you're gonna suck a dick, you swallow. Yeah, well, yeah, you, yeah. You, you, if I, if I am out, I'm sucking like, a dick, it's gonna be inside of you. I'll do everything if I oh. like. Oh, I like. I don't want to suck it. Like, uh, if you are gonna suck a dick with a condom, get the fuck out. Don't be a fucking potential horror. Oh. Who are you, Megan Marco? Like, uh, just uh, do it or don't do it. If you are gonna <laughs> suck a dick with a condom, you, I have no respect Who's for you. Who suck a dick with condoms? Megan Markle, apparently. People do that. But like, uh, I Is have she? no respect for you. I'm gonna Google just that. don't suck it. You don't want a dick? Just like get off. Like <laughs> do that. Just do the hand. No, just nothing. Do, nothing. I, for me, it's like uh, if I like your dick, I'll buy your Mercedes, oh. and I'll suck it. Wait, you'll buy I'll them a Mercedes? If you I'll like let you dick? come on my face. Like if I don't like it, don't talk to me. Oh. Stay away. Oh, Circum- well, circumstance. That sounds like strong boundaries, though. Yeah, it's I, like a yes or no for me. Like yeah. for me, Wait, it's can we go all back or to you said you would buy them a Mercedes Stolen if you like their. I dick? mean, sometimes, sometimes Tesla, but it's not like uh, the same. It seems like a. Uh, all or nothing. If somebody liked I, my I, I know vagina like that, they would buy me a Tesla. Do you want Tesla? Wait, yeah, I would wait, love a I Tesla. Have a I we love a date. Tesla, but how date. do you feel about Musk, or do you not care right now? Do you think he's <laughs> a smart businessman, or are you just kind of like, this motherfucker's crazy? Do you think he's going to be the next Trump? I love a Tesla, but I'm like, oh, dude, you're ruining a great brand, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, I even feel the same way about Trump. Weirdly enough, people don't want to admit this, but Trump, I lived in New York for many years. Trump Hotels, the brand, was a Good brand. You, when you were like, oh, I'm my Christmas party is at the Trump Soho, people were like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like it had some prestige. It was above Marriott. But now, <laughs> you know, the same, the same thing. Yeah, it's the Marriott. It's, it's not the American, Hyatt. Yeah, Amer- America, <laughs> America, America, American flags too. We it's had not a good brand. Zoria. We have a good brand. Now we can fucking. I'm I, all about Ward of Ador- uh, Zoria. I'm, Wal- uh, Wal- I'm a Ward of. I'm a Ward of girl. Oh, yeah, or Four Seasons. You cannot. The yeah, I mean, I like Four Seasons. I like Ward of. I like Hyatt. Really? Wait, Park Hyatt. Not, not Ward Hyatt Ward Regency. Park Hyatt. Yeah, Park I just think of Blair Wardorf. I'm like a, per, I'm like a Blair Wardorf gossip, from gossip Girl. Yeah. That's yeah. the other thing I think of. Yeah. I like Park Wardorf. Hyatt. So how do you think, what do you think of the Tesla brand? And, uh, St. Regis is okay. The St. Regis. St. Regis, the hotel. St. Regis. Okay. I don't know that hotel. Wait, where is it? St. Regis. I've never been St. Regis. Oh, St. Regis. Regis. I'll yeah. tell you this. Don't go to the Motel 6. Montage is okay. Or the Montage Super 8, okay. I mean, in Fort Worth, Texas. Did you see? I walked in. There was jizz on the street or on the sheets. There was a whole a punching hole marks in the door. All the sockets had been ripped off and the fire. And when I went to the front desk and said, I need another room, they said, we don't have that as an option. And I said, well, then I need my money back. And they said, ain't going to happen. What I'm sorry. What city was it? Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. No, Super yeah, Eight. We when, almost died. That's when you call your credit card. And- we just we just got another. Well, I did. So then I I and I sent them photos. I was like, this is a flight risk, and like it was through Hopper, and the Hopper was like, we refuse to refund you. I was like, I'm gonna sue you guys into the ground. But of course, I'm not gonna pay for a lawyer. What is that? 
You don't have to pay for a lawyer, not for small amounts like that. Always have a credit card backing you up. And yeah, I call Chase and I raise hell. Yeah. It's actually really nice. I love when people are all, whatever. You are a comedian. You raise every hell. Like, they can't deny you. When Audrey's pissed off, you better buck with the fuck off. Yeah, that's true. I I don't really get, get I'm going to be honest. I don't get pissed off. She wants a dick, she gets it. She wants you to find her, you want to find her. You want to find her. I'm a silent anger type now, too. I used to be more explosive, but now I'm, I just, you better be, be, be aware. No, yeah, no, I I swallow, I I cry, yeah. You know, I start clicking, tickety tockety, you know, because I, if, if that were me, I would be like, Okay. Like I would start that I'd fuck up their Yelp reviews. I would fi- I'd file a complaint with a better business bureau. Like I will make their lives hell. Like I will report them to IRS. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I first thing is I would Can I have them. you? <laughs> yeah, I should have had you, you call with me. <laughs> if yeah, anybody yeah. fucks with my girl. Am I don't. your girl? Yeah, you're my we girl. Never had you guys start making out. We know I'm my, like, you know, what? Honey, I don't have Do we have any a platonic girl. connection? Yeah. We, but it's more than platonic, honey. We love each other. We Male and female together. platonic are connections are the best. Yeah, we, we have, yes. We're, we're Do you think I'm crazy. hot? Yes. Yes. To have sex. Have sex. Uh, Audrey, That's a really hard thing to chant. just excuse us for a minute. I'd yeah, say. honestly, I'd be happy to. I'll bring it home with my mom. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You can be the I actor. Could, I don't know. You'll pretend it for Christmas. I don't know if I could pull the wool over her. Actually, you know what, though? You could because my parents literally, first of all, I've always been like this. Fabulous, right? <laughs> when I came out, my parents were blindsided. Blindsided. How could this happen? We never saw it coming. He went yeah, to you're like, a, you're like, but he came I'm out like, on the wall. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I love Disney. Like, what you? Know, it's, I love. I, lo- I want to go to Disney so bad. Asian they jacked up the price. Really, I've never been. They'll put blinders on for as long as they can. For as long as okay. they have to. Guys, would you do a show with do a show with me in Irvine Improv? Yeah, hundred percent. Am I invited? Can you, can you host? Yeah, I would. Lo- I love hosting. Can you do like twenty minutes? Yeah, I'm, I'm running my hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll do Disney. When, when is it? I, I'm asking my manager because the Irvine, they, is is a book yet Irvine? No, uh, they want me to tell them what time and uh, they December? want me to. I'll ask them uh, because they want me to run my hour at Disney so they can test out my uh, demographic and to put oh, on my tour. I would love to see your hour. It's, I mean, it's not Disney. It's uh, Irvine. Irvine. Yeah, I would love to see. Well, Disney. Oh, my hour is amazing. It's so good. It's I, so good. I can't. Well, you're so personal, Zhao Ying. Yeah, my uh, one wait, hour I is so lo- good. Wait, what, maybe. We both run an hour at Caroline. Yeah, we yeah. did. We, are, we always run the same shows. We're yeah. missing each other like yeah. this. The gloves were parallel. Yeah, I know. Oh, you guys had separate shows. You didn't co-headline. It was just. No, yeah, separate. Yeah, uh, oh, well, yeah. Can we all? I would love. I would host. love that. Do you, host? Do you think that it'd be better after the our whole shows during the holidays? Are those good? Or are they? Are they January? Bad? Well, early January. I don't know what time, but like, a tourist in, but like, I really sell out to uh, in Irvine. Oh, it's gonna be like a, like this. DC people are not DC in December. People are ready to spend money though, because it's the host- festive holidays. Yeah, you're, you want to do stuff. You wanna so do stuff. If they if there's a date open in Irvine in December, you should look into it. If you want to host. I would love to host. Uh, I would love that. Can we make this a classic set where it's like host, feature, headliner? Yeah. I love it. Instead of like LA, it's like 10 people in this lineup. You know, I love yeah. I don't talk about Johnny and Summers and Friends show though. No. I'm kidding. I'm joking. That's every show in LA. <laughs> in every show, you have to have a showcase. Every show has to be a showcase. But in I love it when you're outside. The classic format is a 90 minute show. You have your host, you have your feature who does 20, 25 minutes. The host maybe does another couple of minutes before they bring out the headliner who does 45 to an hour. It's it's a thing of beauty. It is. It's a thing of beauty. It really is. Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah, I'll take my kids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've never been to. I want to go. I've never been to Disney. It's, they jacked up the prices. I've been lazy. Well, what's his name? Bob, uh, Chapek. Bob Chapek got let go today. Uh, today? Today. So they have to this lower the morning. prices again? So, well, who knows? But Iger, who uh, was very popular and a well respected president, is back, CEO. And so maybe things will be real different in a month. Are we up now? The time? Okay, <laughs> so this is like well, last of the minutes. It's like uh, it three Uber hours? Karen. I don't even know Uber Karen. She actually purchased a uh, therapy license in Chinatown. Now she's Doctor Karen. Oh, so Doctor Karen would give you free therapy sessions. Oh, that was oh, anything good. We you want. Good. So nice. we're gonna start with Audrey. Oh, Audrey, what what's going on this week? What's bothering you? Oh, Doctor Karen can help. I think what's bothering me is I feel like uh, maybe maybe. Okay, you know what might be actually bothering me? I feel like now that I am going back to men or I'm dating whoever I want, I feel like people are just like, like to hound me about it. 
Do you know what I mean? Really? No. Wait, tell me. Like, I people, feel people like are giving you shit for going back to men? I feel like people are like, yeah, you're, you don't even know. You're, 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 this is just a phase for you. You'll oh, be that's or, mean. But I'm also like, why can't I just be fluid? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm proud to say, I would be proud to label myself if I had a label. I love when people label themselves if they want to label themselves. But right now, I don't even know if I have a label. And, I'm ha and I want to just fall in love with somebody. But I feel like it, sometimes in stand-up and things like that, I feel like uh, uh, audiences or people think they can say a lot of things to you. So they'll be like, yeah, like, oh, she thinks she's, like, straight now. And I'm like, I don't really think I'm straight. I am hooking up with men right now. Yeah. So I think that that potentially is bothering me a little bit because I think everybody wants to put a label mm. yeah. on me. And I'm like, why can't I just figure it out and fall in love with somebody? I think, uh, as I mean, Dr. Karen is always mean, but this time, like, I feel like uh, the best thing for you to do is to follow your heart like you follow your heart and you do what your pussy wants and that's what the right thing to do I mean yeah. sometimes you regret because your pussy wants something that is not good financially for you but uh, you know it's something you can learn <laughs> something you can learn from you can learn from. next time you date a poor guy date a poor guy next time you date a poor guy you know you'll be like a Mm -mm. So I feel like uh, you should just follow your heart and the uh, people who uh, are saying things to you is because they are projecting their insecurities on you yeah. because they are once a lesbian and then now wanting to try new things, but they do not have the courage to do it. So they choose to judge you so they can feel better about being a coward. Love that. Exactly. So that's what they're doing. So... Love Be it. like, uh, this pussy want what this pussy wants. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think Dr. Karen should really get her, like, uh, get uh, famous on TikTok now. Yeah. 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 Dr. Karen, Dr. Karen needs her own show. That yeah. Is, that's smart. I like it. How Dr. about Mr. Karen? Hank Chan? Okay. Other than being gay and being uh, being disappointed with your family, but like what else is going on <laughs> I, in your I've life? I've been working that out for a while. Well, you know what? This actually, since we're gonna since we're gonna get into the real, real, and and Zhao Ying, the 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 mind behind Dr. Karen is a very smart person. You actually might actually be able to give me some insight because right. the Chinese in us we yes. connect in the culture and everything. Truly, truly and know? also your family is very wealthy, so you in, in, they're they're not. They're they we're we're okay. But they're not. When they say they're okay, that's the rich people like we're okay. We only own Chase, but not like a, not like a Wells Fargo. You know? Only two sweatshops, not no. three. <laughs> no. Um. So I actually, you actually know about this, Zhao. Okay. Well, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll I'll tell you how she sort of like came to my emotional rescue. So we were at we were at an event, and a friend that I hadn't seen in a while, an, an Asian guy, a writer who was recent, who was recently represented, developing a script. Zhao overheard me talking to him because he was like hank how are you and i was like i'm okay i was like you know i'm just sort of like going through a little bit of an acting dry spell right now i've done a lot of television i've done a good number of movies and i was like you know i've had streaks where everything goes my way right so what happens is right before you book something they pin you or they put you on a veil where yeah between you and someone else right and i'm on a veil right now for what something major okay, really baby. are you really I'm like my fingers crossed fuck yeah my fingers crossed too what, it, what can you tell us anything or is no it a movie or a tv show TV show. Okay. Network. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. My prayers. Yes. Yes. And she's giving me major prayers because she's like very kind. I know. Yeah. I feel it. Uh, Already. So I've hate. had streaks that go. Yeah. I've had streaks that go. You know, everything goes in my direction. Book, 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 book. You know, but in the last like year and a half, everything has just not gone in my direction. But I was like, that's kind of like the universe that's like the fibonacci that's that that's the math of the universe and so i was like i'm just trying to turn things around and i literally was like what are you working on i was like you need a gay asian guy in your in your movie and he was like oh maybe i think so and jow i didn't even think she was listening she's like uh, doing tiktoks and eating shrimp and drinking wine and lamb lamb and, and, and lamb, lamb. lamb. It, was, it was lamb skewer it's so good it's so good the lamb skewer is so good it's so out I'll give up dick for that. I'm scared. Remember, so good. Yeah, it, we were at John. We were at the, <laughs> so at the good. for John Cho's new movie from Amazon. So good. And so and Zhao Yun literally pipes in. And she was like, "Hank, I'm producing a movie right now. You can be in my movie." And I was like, "Is that still true? Is it still? Is the movie still happening? Can yeah, I still be in it's it?" Happening. Yeah. I was like, "Okay, so here's my but but she can but here's what my dilemma has been. Right, my dilemma has been is there are now more roles for Asian men ever." 
than ever before in the history of Hollywood, right? I, I've started over 10 years ago, so I still remember auditioning with accents. I remember, oh, wow. you'll come. I remember that. Like, Can we try it with an accent? Can we try less accent? Okay, so I remember that. They don't do that anymore. However, most of the roles are going to kung fu straight white guys, like all, not white guys, kung fu straight Asian men. And here's another ironic thing. I actually have a black belt. I ride a motorcycle. I I have a black belt in karate. I don't look like I do, oh. but I but but these <laughs> but these karate shows they don't want me because I will be on these audition tapes being like I am a black belt in karate, and you could just be like they, they're like next. You know that that's what they're like, and so I'm like, oh, where do I? How can I? I feel like I'm a little displaced. That's how I feel right oh. now. I feel like a little. I'm a little displaced. Because Until the right thing comes along that you don't need yes. pretentious roles like yeah. that anyway. So uh, what I've been telling myself. You can and, be gay Bruce Lee. I, I, <laughs> someone's got to have to write that though because they're not right. You know what I mean? Like, so, But uh, what I, I've just been telling myself to hold on. I'm lucky. I've done enough work that I've, you know, I have residuals. I have savings that I can, right. I can hold on. Um, but I'm just like, come on, man. So. That's how it, because also with all these Asian shows and Asian casts, the guest So what's cast, the dilemma? What's the, the, can I help you? What can doctor? She's like, what is the question? What is the question? <laughs> Go to the point. Okay. Do you know the future? Am I going to get work, Zhao Ying? Is it, am, how long is this going to keep going? <laughs> you are going to be cards. a star <laughs> soon. Her movie is going to make me a star. Yeah, and you are going to be Hank Chen. Okay. <laughs> for who he is, the fabulous Hank Chen, the man, uh, the combination of uh, talent, kindness, fabulousness, uh, faculty gay boy, who also ride a motorcycle like a sexy motherfucker. Yeah. Who know who does black belt? Who's funny? Who's charming? Who's tall and handsome? <laughs> and <laughs> perfect hair and perfect face. Yeah. And uh, you will be. I feel like in, yeah. with like the with like more like a, like a gay people like a, the gay romantic movies and stuff. You'd be like a, just like you'd be like a fucking Scarlett Johansson of a gay romantic lead. I, uh, maybe we'll I, get there. Maybe we'll get there. Yeah. I agree. I also feel like you. Bro, I feel like you box. definitely You're should. You're like a big you, catch. You, you definitely need to hold on. You're a slip I think slop. This is, like, you are a slip slop. Like everybody wants to fuck you. This is where everybody pops I, off, though. It's I where think, yeah. everybody. Like, if you are a straight Asian man, you can't get the hot guys, hot girls, because people are fucked up here. But you are Hank. You are slip slop. You have no hair on your. Like, everybody wants to fuck you. <laughs> everybody wants to fuck you. Even the straight guys. Oh, yeah, because well, you are a catch. Yes. You're like me. So I should stop trying to get on Kung Fu on the Oh my CW. God, I'm so cocky. Like like me. I love it. For myself. You, well, this is your show, honey. That's why we're here. Oh my God, you are so, okay. You're like me. But you definitely should hang on because uh, that's the whole point of this. Is it's that we're told back. to change ourselves. Yes. You're not good enough. You need to be straight. You need to be gay. You need to be whatever. But it's like, if you just keep being you, yeah. that right role or fuck the right person who's going to appreciate you for you, it's going to happen. It's happened soon. You're it's putting in the work, somebody's going to recognize Who it. Who knows? And you know, Jia Ying and I went through something similar. I didn't realize this. You know, So speaking of her being put on a veil right now, you know that she was put on a veil for Fresh Off the Boat seven years ago. Oh, wow. Constance Wu got it. But I didn't know that. She, yes, she was. And I didn't get that major role. I didn't get put on the major role, but I, I yeah. Here, here's and here's the thing. When when that show came on, remember it was the first Asian American led sitcom in 20 years. Yeah. Everyone was like, "Yo, Hank, oh my God, fresh off the boat, dude, you're gonna go on that show for sure." I was like, "Do you not know how Hollywood works?" I was like, "This is an Asian cast." All of the guest cast are going to be non-Asians, unless you're coming in as a family member. Because my bread and butter for many years up until that point is as a guest cast member, I was getting roles because the cast are all white. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like when I was, when I would audition just to like get my mind in the right space, I'd be like, okay, cool. Who, who, who are the leads in this scene that I'm looking at? Oh, it's a black lead. It's a white blah, blah, blah. I was like, I have a shot. I have a shot. But if it was like some, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you do that math. Cause that's just how the town thinks. Yeah. So we were in a similar situation with Fresh Off. I was like, I ain't never going to get on that show. I was like, they, they. I, I auditioned for like uh, the, 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 what's her name? Like uh, when, 
when she was in her dreams, like uh, like you know, in the dream scenario, she I was watching uh, after season two. Yeah, so I was playing like I was like doing <laughs> ice skating and things like uh, like uh, it was awful. Fuck it. Anyways, Mr. Hank Chen. Yes, sweetie. You're gonna be a star I'm very soon. Out. I'm gonna hang. Very very soon. When's your movie? When's 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 your movie? Very movie? soon, actually. I have what a movie? major problem. Do you want to be in it? Too? Yeah, I'll be yeah, in it. What the hell? It's a feature film. Yeah, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, I want to be. Yeah, everything's happening to this bitch. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, in, it's in happening a, in, a, in a couple of months. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, you have my number. Please, uh, you know, Daddy looking for a job. Fuck yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, Joe, this was here. so fun, you guys. Thank you for being here. I want to make a video. I'll be like, oh my God, it's so insulting. People just like uh, take my comedy so far. They think I don't like gay people. Like I have men who says, gay wait, bisexual. Wait, wait, who says that? Bisexual. Who says that? You know, people. <laughs> Honestly. Because I have a joke about like, uh, you know, in China, I'm like, I have two of my favorite gay yeah. friends. I have gay friends. They are right here. Hi, say hi. Now get the fuck out. <laughs> 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 That's Jiao. That's why we love her. That's Jiao. Yeah. Your skin's so good. I hate you. It's your eyebrow is so good. I hate you. <laughs> I hate people out there prettier your than me. Your are amazing. Yeah. I what the you. hell? You're, you're rocking Strip. it. Give Give me your outfit. That looks really? Incredible. I mean, this is cute, right? You re You're really gonna buy me something nice for Christmas? Yeah. I'll, I'll find something nice for you. I don't yeah. Know, what, what What do you give? Uh, you know what? My gift for her is gonna have to be something sweet and sentimental because I can't outspend her. It's gonna have to be something with a lot of thought. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you can get me a nice dick. <laughs> I probably could get you. I'm a really good wingman. I get my straight friends, guys and girls, late. Wait, if you all have a, sh time. if you have, I, whoever, somebody, I like mutuals. So hook me up with I'm, mutual. I'm a really good wingman. Yeah. Boy, it's, girl, that, dogs, it's yeah. Audrey laid. Yeah. Audrey's I heartbroken could, I because prob I probably now her could. pussy open. Like she's I'm heartbroken. heartbroken. Are, is this the person that you're seeing a regular? I've moved on from her for sure. No, 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 no. But I mean, the guy that you're with. Oh. Is this a is it is it like a casual dating thing or no, uh, no. We're, we're just having sex although we talk all the time so you want do you want to bring someone else you're open to someone else in the mix yeah I I'm not, I would date him but I don't think he's he wants that he's we live oh, far from each other and, and I don't want to put that pressure on him and I I don't think he wants it I think he wants a cash no, thing here's the thing when so I'm open when to anybody. wants to date you you don't question it because they make their intentions yeah it's, and the intentions a are not adult. So yeah, the person mm -hmm. from that I'm having, no, I would never know that nobody want me. Clear. That's babe. Oh, how many times do we have to tell you? Everybody wants you, Jow. Everybody. But the thing is, I understand why you're so defensive because hot girls got to be defensive, otherwise you're gonna get attacked and raped. That's what. That's what it is. Girls cool. be. Oh no 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 no! I kill them. <laughs> no no no! They're gonna try. They're gonna try, they try but but but, but they won't succeed. <laughs> no 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 no! I'm but, from the dumpster. I'll fucking yeah, kill you. No, I'll fucking. Yo, she'll, she'll cut fuck a bitch. you. She'll up. cut a bitch. Don't slice you. Even neck. think about you can fuck me. Don't me. even try it. Don't even think about mm -hmm. it. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We no. will not. <laughs> it ends on that. Yep. <laughs> Is this how you end your shows usually? A Listen to Tiger Wave podcast if you want happiness in your life. But if you want to be miserable, and it's your choice, and uh, it's your choice. Be Pro a choice. dumb bitch. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>